Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and I want to go over an absolute value inequality that has a negative in it. All right, so what we're going to do is negative 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 7. So that's what we're going to do. This is a negative over here. Let's just jump into it. So what we're going to have is negative 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 7, or negative 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 7. We just start with what we know, isolate away the uh, constants here. This is kind of the, the b value for a y equals mx plus v, b type of equation, negative 2x. Uh, that's going to be Let's see, negative 7 minus 3, that's going to be negative 10. Or negative 2x is greater than or equal to 4. All right, and then we isolate away the coefficients. And notice this is a negative, right? So be careful of that. You're probably going to have to swap signs here. Forgot to draw these. There we go, because we're dividing. Sweet. All right, we've got x is now greater than or equal to positive 5, or x is less than or equal to negative 2. Let's draw it out. Greater than or equal to positive 5. Hope I did this right. And negative 2. And now we can test it, right? Let's see, so first I'm gonna do, I'll just do a six. Okay, terrible six, whatever. Negative two times positive six. We've got negative 12. Negative 12 plus three. Negative 12 plus three is negative nine, but the absolute value of that nine is greater than seven. So this one checks out. Yoink. And then for this one, we'll do negative four, why not? Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Positive 8 plus 3 gets you 11. That is greater than 7. So this also checks out. So remember the swapped signs. OK, you treat this as you would the first step of an absolute value inequality, where you put a less than, and you do the negative, and then you do this, the positive just as you normally would, and you just go through this as normal, even though there's a negative in here, I know it might be a little confusing being in an absolute value, you know, is that any different? Um, not really. You'll see that, I mean, you, you just still have to split it into two equations. Um, or you could uh, kind of put it between the two. You know, this could have theoretically, I think, been written as, how would this go? Um, so this is less than that, and this is greater than that. Would this be, this seems almost backwards. So 7 would be less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. You know what, I'm not going to mess with this. It's too early in the morning for me to, you know, but why would 7 be less than negative 7? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? So um, I would recommend not writing it that way. Just stick with what you guys know here, where you've got the two different uh, equations. Right. And yeah, you just treat it as you would any other. If you divide or multiply by a negative, you swap the inequality, you flip it over, and you just flip it into two equations since you've got the absolute value. But these checked out. And by the way, if you watched the other video where I tried to solve one for a negative, it turns out I was right. Um, all my solution and stuff that I did, I don't, I don't know. But I know that um, now I Googled it. Um, the solution to an absolute value being greater than or equal to uh, a negative number is all real numbers. Um, so it turns out my, my gut was right there. Um, so anyway, this is Keith from Kinvert going over absolute value inequalities. This is part of our online course for pre-calculus and another one for algebra. Hope you guys found this helpful, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.